I think one of the most masterful things that you do when you're in an audience is your ability to break the barrier between, hi, I'm up on stage, look at me, I know everything, I'm the expert, and actually meet the audience in a conversation. So when you, yesterday, specifically started asking the business owners in the room to stand up and engage with you in role play about how they should be pitching themselves when they're meeting new people and prospective presidents of their companies in order for them to grow and 10X their businesses, it's always profound to me how you're able to move people so quickly into realizing that they aren't communicating their vision in the proper way. That was a good one. You were paying attention. I was paying attention. I, I thought I saw attention. you sleeping over there. I would never I'm sleep during your speeches. You I'm did, like your you biggest. I'm your biggest fan. Your biggest cheerleader. I scream the loudest. I clap the hardest. That's true. So what else did I you? I take the most notes. <clears throat> what else? What, what was the biggest takeaway for you yesterday of all the speakers? Oh, that's a really good question. That was a little bit less self-centered of a question. I just too. wanted to see if you paid attention to my talk. Yeah, I did pay attention. Of course okay. I paid attention to your I'm talk. That's a silly question. Just so ask. your listeners know, that, you know, just so Oh, that know I mean, that is a good tip attention. if you're if your significant other is up on stage or doing anything where they are in the limelight, taking notes on what they're saying, making sure that you're engaged even if you've heard it hundreds of times. I have heard that talk and pieces of it hundreds of times, maybe thousands of times. I hear it constantly. But if I'm disengaged and I'm acting like I don't care, what message is that sending to everybody else that it's just old news and that there's nothing else to learn? There's always something to learn. When you're well, with somebody who's smart and engaging and dynamic, and I happen to be with somebody who's smart, engaging, and dynamic, and I'm very lucky for that, and I appreciate you for that. Um, and mm -hmm. you are, so valuable to me because you understand what I'm trying to do. And sometimes I get out of alignment in my talk mm -hmm. and then we can sit and talk about it afterwards. You can say, I am laser focused on every word that you're saying because I'm trying to give you clues to, I well, know how your brain works. After and I my try talk to yesterday, give we give you clues we, about who to mention or what to bring back yeah. up and just like tie things up for you. And after my talk yesterday, you said, you know, you really need to flip the end to the beginning. Mm -hmm. And I said, that's genius. I do. Because mm -hmm. I could feel the awkwardness getting there. Mm -hmm. But if I'd have flipped it to the beginning, then the story at the beginning would have been more intriguing to the people mm -hmm. that were listening instead of them waiting, like, where's this guy going to land? I give you really good feedback <clears throat> on your talking. Like, I don't yeah. lie to you and just say, oh, you did a great job, babe. Yeah, but and you don't you, I want that. You I did, want that You criticism. do a great job, but I always tell you what you could do better, how we could change the content, and how we can flip things around.